Hey guys, Jim from Edge Square here. Welcome to part two of the takeoff tutorials and the getting started series for Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover drawing a rectangle room. To begin, I will go towards the top left of our program to the draw rectangle icon. I will select this by clicking the left button on my mouse. Now you will see that is highlighted orange showing it is selected. And now when I move my mouse onto the screen, you'll see the blue crosshairs appear. From here, I can left click with my mouse and hold that left button down and then begin to drag my mouse towards the bottom right of the screen. You will see my dimensions change. Once I have the dimensions desired, I will release the left button on my mouse and that room will be drawn on the takeoff screen. If we would like to draw the room without having to hold down our left mouse, we can go to the drop down menu on the draw rectangle icon, deselect the drag to takeoff rectangle that is highlighted orange. I'll give that a left click. From here, I can go back onto my takeoff screen, left click on the screen, and now I am moving my mouse in a similar fashion, but I'm not holding down my left mouse key. Once I have the desired dimension selected, I will give it a left click to complete my room, and I will have another rectangle room drawn. We also have another option to draw a rectangle room by inputting the dimensions manually. This will also be from the drop down menu, and this is rectangle by size. I will give this a left click, and now we will have this pop up menu appear in front of us where we can adjust the width and the length accordingly. For our example, I will type in 15 by 20, and you'll see below we have a label for this room. At the moment, it is selected as room 1 as default. If I select the drop down menu, we will have some pre selected options loaded in here that I can cycle through. And then if you notice at the very bottom of this menu, we have the manage list selection. If I give that a left click, all the options we were just looking at appear in this text list. And from here, we can add or remove the room names that we would like to use. So if I'd like to remove master bedroom, I can highlight that, hit backspace or delete on my keyboard, and you'll see it disappear. If I'd like to add my own, I can just type in whatever I desire. I'll put in bathroom one for this example, and now that will appear on our list. And once we have edited this to the naming scheme we would like, I can then select OK at the bottom. And now if I hit this drop down menu, you'll see the bathroom one that I just created. So I can left click that, have that selected for my label, click OK. Now we will have the room of the 15 by 20 selected on our mouse represented by the red rectangle. I'm not holding anything down on my mouse. It is connected to my mouse, just free floating. Once I have the desired place I'd like to place this, I will just left click my mouse once. Now that room is placed on our diagram and we'll see the naming scheme of bathroom one that we just created. In our next video, we will cover drawing a room with our free draw tool.